I'm gonna tell you four killer content creation hacks that you need for your fitness brand that will help you reduce stress and create killer content for your audience. Let's go. Hey there, my name is Daniel and welcome to another video on Uscreen Health and Fitness where we help you make money with your fitness content online. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to make more money doing what you love with fitness, go ahead and start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Today we're going to talk about four simple hacks that you can use when you're creating content that will help you simplify and expedite the creation process. When you're first starting out, it can feel like it takes forever to get things created and then published. You're probably second guessing everything that you're doing and you're not really sure how it's going to be received. You might even be deleting some of it, but I can't stress enough that done is better than perfect. If you've been at this for a while, you already know that. You wanna get the content done and not stress over it being absolutely perfect. This is just my first video for this channel and I will, like you, count on viewer feedback to improve each time. Just start creating content and then do it again and again and again and again and again. That said, let's go ahead and dive in. First hack, templates. Nothing will save you time quite like a template. When you go to the doctor's office, they don't hand you a blank sheet and just say, write some stuff down about yourself. No, they hand you a pre-made form with blank fields ready for you to fill out, sign it, and then hand it back to them completed. You wanna create a similar process for your content. You want pre-made templates that you can just plug stuff into and then publish it. The faster you can do this, the faster your content creation process is going to be. Now that can leave minimal room for creativity. So from time to time, you should evaluate your process and see if there are ways to make it better, make it different, make it more creative. Because if you just do the same things over and over and over and over again, well then your, your content's gonna start getting a little bit boring, maybe a little bit stale and a little bit devoid of that spark that you need to draw people into your audience. Here are a couple examples of templates that could save you time, stress, and maybe even a little bit of money. Video editing is an incredibly tedious process. I've been doing it since I was a teenager. When you're creating content for YouTube or social media, rather than creating a new project in your editing software from scratch, every single time you make a video, you can have templates ready to go. For your main video, you're likely using the same format and structure every time with music and intro animation, video clips of some sort, and a call to action at the end. Let's take a look at this video from Fitness Blender, one of the most successful fitness channels on YouTube. They start their videos with an explanation of the workout, and then they've got an animation intro leading to the beginning of the workout. I guarantee their editor has this set up and he just plugs in the new clips every video and exports quickly after making sure his color and audio and everything are all set. A very similar animation is used at the end of the videos as well. Simple, effective. Rather than having to hunt down clips and trim things and edit them every single time, he's got this template plugged in, set up, and ready to go. A great complement to this idea of a template is a checklist of editing items like checking audio levels, checking video coloring, checking transitions, ensuring the music is right, etc. So for each new video, duplicate a previous project, have your checklist ready to go, and you should be able to work through those edits much quicker. Another thing you can template are your Instagram presets. Presets are pre-made filters you can download online and apply to your photos using something like Adobe Lightroom. Presets will help you save time, create a cohesive and consistent look, and improve the quality of your posts. You can find plenty of presets for free around the internet, and this great article from Hootsuite even walks you through how to set up these presets to use for your phone on quick edits. I'll link that in the description below. Another example of templates you can use are content descriptions and bios. YouTube's a search platform and a video platform, so you need to make sure you're optimizing your video titles with the proper keywords and the first paragraph or two of your de video description as well. But after that, when you include links, social media stuff, or bio information, that should just be a simple copy and paste. Make it easy on yourself and have the file with the stuff ready to go anytime you're publishing. The last thing I'll encourage you to explore are blog post templates. In high school, I was taught to write using a five paragraph structure with an intro paragraph, three content paragraphs, and a conclusion. It was terrible back then, but now it's a great structure for creating. You can do this however you would like, but having a template and a structure to guide your writing process may be helpful for expediting your creation. Hack number two, outsourcing. Outsourcing gets a bad reputation for cheap and low quality work, but it doesn't have to be that way. In fact, I think it should be called delegation 
because in order to be successful in growing your content and your business, you have to become a professional delegator. And part of that is knowing when to outsource appropriately. Whenever there's work you're not good at and that you don't enjoy doing, you should heavily consider delegating it. When you decide to delegate, you can either have someone on your team take over that task or you can find someone outside of your, your team to do it for you. Now, these next two resources get slandered around the web and even in my circle of friends, but I think they're tools and the result you get is dependent upon your ability to wield said tool. The same people who tell you these tools don't work are the same people who would throw away or return a perfectly good hammer when they smash their own thumb. Whether you need to find a video editor, someone to record voiceovers, someone to create an animated intro for your videos, or even graphic design, you can find all of those things on these platforms. I've had multiple designs created via Fiverr as well as voiceovers and animated intros that have helped me move my businesses forward. I've used Upwork to find virtual assistants, video editors, and other freelance help for as little as $5 an hour. Often you can find workers in the Philippines who speak excellent English, learn quickly, work really hard, and have experience doing what you need, and they'll charge anywhere from five to $15 an hour. It's hard to beat those rates. If you prefer not to outsource overseas, the other option is to find local college or high school students looking to get experience. I didn't set out to discover this hidden gem, but I was lucky enough to stumble upon it. I used to own a small watch brand, and I was looking to do a photo shoot of my products, and I stumbled upon this group of friends who were all photographers. They do amazing work, but they charged me a fraction of what a seasoned professional would have charged me. There's some obvious limitations when you go this route, but it can be an excellent solution for the right situation. When you view outsourcing as delegation and an opportunity for you to spend more time focused on the work you're best at, you can take big steps forward in your business. Hack number three, tentpole marketing. It's a really weird term, but it's used to describe marketing that's planned around the conversations that take place before, during, or after a current event. For the most part, it refers to holidays and such, but it can also refer to pop culture events like the recent fried chicken battle between Chick-fil-A and Popeyes. So you might be wondering, how do you use that to hack content creation? Well, it's simple. These events and holidays give you an easy option for content creation. Tentpole marketing is a simple way to create specially themed content or promotions to drive attention and interest and traffic to your content and your offers. There's a major holiday basically every month of the year. New Year's, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, Cinco de Mayo, Fourth of July, back to school, Labor Day, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and that's just the major ones. There are still some other very important holidays throughout the year, and it goes without saying that that's without any mention of National Whatever Day. I think last week we had National Sour Beer Day. These, this, it's a bizarre phenomenon that's become popular in the last couple of years, but it's something that you can leverage to generate attention and interest and traffic for your content and your offers. You can use all of those to create specific promotional content or flash sales to grow your audience or sell. Now, I would highly recommend that you not use all of those opportunities to sell. You could spend your entire year selling if you wanted to, but that's not a recipe for success and it's not how you got where you are in the first place. The reason that you have a following or that you'll soon have a following is because you're bringing valuable perspective to the table and you provide something beneficial with your content. There's nothing wrong with selling, but you should find a cadence and a rhythm that works for you in alternating between selling and purely providing value. One example of this is the fitness marshal. His channel is full of dance videos that are all current and relevant songs. He's leveraging pop culture and current attention to bring in attention to his audience and what he is doing. Normally these are Billboard 100 songs that he creates dance video workouts for, but sometimes he does other songs, but it's all leveraging attention that's already happening and bringing it into his content. And then he has a call to action in almost every video, which the call to action isn't necessarily to sell, but sometimes it just gets people in his funnel and gets them moving into a deeper relationship with him so that one day he can sell to them when the time is right. Pop Sugar Fitness is another great example. You can go to their channel and scroll through and see what they've been promoting, like this summer sale they ran a few months ago at the beginning of summer. They leveraged the attention from the beginning of summer as a promotion for their content. 
that's a great idea. But based on what I'm seeing on some of the top YouTube fitness channels, this is an underutilized tactic when it comes to getting attention in the fitness industry. If you do workout videos or recipe videos, this is an amazing opportunity for you to hop on and ride the train. Whether you've got a spooky workout for Halloween or you've got some killer Thanksgiving recipes, you should start planning and creating that content now to take advantage of these upcoming tentpole events and holidays. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and like the video. Hack number four, content batching. This one's pretty simple, but it may be the thing that most helps you keep your sanity as a content creator. I do this with my podcast and with these videos as much as I possibly can so that I don't miss a weekly upload and so that I don't have to stress at the last minute about editing or publishing anything. Don't just shoot and edit and post one video a week. You wanna be as far ahead of your schedule as possible so that you can afford to take time off and not have to worry about your publishing schedule. You wanna be able to go on vacation and still have content being published and posted while you're away. Or you wanna have the freedom to be able to do whatever you want in the moment. If something comes up like a fried chicken battle and you wanna do a response or a blind taste test, then you should have the freedom to do that and not have to worry about it messing up your content schedule because you don't have to worry about what's after that because you already have that content created and you can can just add this to your content calendar and push everything else back a little bit. You wanna have the freedom to be able to do that. If you're creating videos for your audience or podcasts or blogs, then the best thing you can do is create a lot of content at one time. Rather than shooting one video, line up the scripts and the resources to be able to shoot three videos in a day. It's gonna be tiring, it's gonna be taxing, but good work isn't supposed to be easy. You should shoot all of these videos in one day, get them edited and get them scheduled so that in one day of shooting and a day or two of editing, you can create enough content to last you a few weeks. Batching helps streamline thoughtful content and should prevent you from procrastinating. But you need these two things, a schedule and a system. It starts with a brainstorming day. On this day, come up with topics, questions, images, interactive ideas, creators to collaborate with, and more that you can educate and add value to your audience. I highly recommend an Excel sheet or a Google sheet to help you track all of this so you can come back to and see what you've done, see what you haven't done, see where your schedule is moving. Just something to keep you on track consistently. Do some research, check out what's been done before. You use Google Trends and a keyword tool so you can see what is and is not working in relation to the ideas that you've come up with. Make sure you can generate some traffic and interest. This will also help you drill down and get more specific with your content. I want you to go ahead and, and look up what's already been done on this topic watch those videos, read that content, and then see how can you make that same content better. It may also provide you with other ideas that you can add to your list for later on. Set a number, how much content do you wanna create in a set amount of time? Do you wanna do two videos in a day, three, four? It's extremely personal and subjective. I can comfortably sit down and shoot two or three videos before my brain and my mouth start to get out of sync. You've gotta know your limits and you need to adhere to them. Then come up with a plan. Look ahead, see what's coming in the next four, eight, 12 weeks and plan accordingly. Here's some questions to consider as you come up with your plan. What am I selling or promoting and when? What do people need to learn from me? How can I work my customers through a selling funnel with the content that I'm creating? Are these videos gonna to be top of the funnel? Or are they gonna be the middle of the funnel or bottom of the funnel? Top of the funnel is what brings in attention to you, you as a creator. The middle is for people who are already familiar with you and part of your audience. And then the bottom is for people who are primed and ready to buy something from you. All in, I'd recommend a day for research, planning and drafting, a day for production, and then a day, maybe two, for editing and scheduling. If you can take three days to create content that will last you for weeks or more, you're doing something right. It's intense work in the moment, but it will simplify your life and your workflow to help keep your content creation streamlined and simple. If coming up with ideas for videos or content is difficult for you, you should watch this video right here on ways you can come up with an endless amount of ideas for whatever it is you're doing. So which one of these four content hacks have you never used before? Leave an answer in the comments below on what you might try out this week, and I can't wait to hear from you. And to learn more about making money online with your fitness content, be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.